Hello everyone, my name is Nadeem and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we will see the difference between OPC and PPC. Also, we are going to see the benefits of one over the other. Before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest video updates. And also don't forget to like, comment and share the video. The long form of OPC is Ordinary Portland Cement and the long form of PPC is Portland Pozzolona Cement. Generally, the ISI mark on the Ordinary Portland Cement bag is black in color whereas the ISI mark on the Portland Pozzolona Cement bag is red in color. But this is not a compulsion. Now let us see the manufacturing process. The raw material used to manufacture OPC are calcareous material containing limestone that is 62 to 70% Argillaceous material containing silica, which ranges between 17 to 25 percent, alumina 3 to 8 percent, and oxide of iron, which will be around 0.5 to 6 percent. Now, there are other ingredients also like gypsum, magnesia, sulfur trioxide, potash, and soda, which range between 0.5 to 1.3 percent. All these materials are mixed in a fixed proportion and heated in clins. To form clinkers, which are then grinded to the required fineness to obtain ordinary Portland cement. Whereas the raw material used to manufacture PPC are OPC cement clinkers 75 to 76 percent, which we have already discussed in the previous section, and gypsum 3 to 5 percent, and pozzolanic material, which can be fly ash, rice husk, ash, volcanic tuff, pumicides, clay, and shale which ranges between 10% to 25%. All these materials are mixed and grinded to obtain the Portland Pozzolona cement. Now let us see grade of cement. As per the classification of Bureau of Indian Standard, OPC is available in 33 grade, 43 grade and 53 grade. Whereas PPC is available in 1 grade and its strength matches to the strength of 33 grade of OPC after curing. Compressive strength. Compressive strength is defined as the ability of material to resist the direct pressure of applied compression force. We generally calculate compressive strength after 3 days, 7 days and 28 days. For OPC, we refer IS 12269 and for PPC, we refer IS 1489. First, we will see compressive strength on OPC at 3, 7 and 28 days. In 3 days, OPC achieve a compressive strength of 27 Newton per mm square. In 7 days, OPC achieves a compressive strength of 37 Newton per mm square. In 28 days, OPC achieves a compressive strength of 53 Newton per mm square. Whereas, in 3 days, PPC achieve a compressive strength of 16 Newton per mm square. In 7 days, PPC achieves a compressive strength of 22 Newton per mm square. And in 28 days, PPC achieves a compressive strength of 33 Newton per mm square. You must note that the initial strength of the ordinary Portland cement is higher than the Portland Pozzolona cement. Workability Workability means how easily it can flow on the surface. The concrete made using OPC has lower workability, whereas the concrete made using PPC has higher workability. Heat of hydration. The heat of hydration is the heat generated when water and cement reacts. In case of OPC, the hydration process takes less time for the completion and it produces more heat than PPC. Please note, if cement produces more heat in less time, then it cannot be used for mass concreting as it may generate cracks in the structure. Whereas, in case of PPC, the hydration process takes a longer time for completion and produces less heat during the hydration process. Hence, it is ideal for mass concreting. Now, let us discuss setting time. When we are discussing about setting time, we are referring two terms, initial setting time and final setting time. Initial setting time gives an idea about how fast cement can start losing its plasticity and the final setting time gives an idea about how much time cement takes to lose its full plasticity and gain some strength to resist pressure. Initial setting time is the time the time elapsed between the moment that the water is added to the cement 
to the time that the paste start losing its plasticity. And the final setting time of cement is the time elapsed between the moment the water is added to the cement and the time when cement paste loses its plasticity completely and has attained sufficient firmness to resist certain definite pressure. Initial setting time of OPC and PPC is same and it is 30 minutes. Also, the final setting time of OPC and PPC is 600 minutes that is 10 hours. But even after OPC and PPC attending final setting time together, OPC attends 3 days, 7 days, 28 days strength faster than the PPC. So, OPC is recommended in the projects where deshuttering is to be done on a faster pace. Indian Standard Codes that is IS Codes. IS Code used for OPC 33 grade of cement is IS 269. For OPC 43 grade cement is IS 8112. And for OPC 53 grade of cement IS 12269. Whereas the IS Code used for PPC is 1489. Fineness. The fineness of OPC is at least 225 square meter per kilogram, whereas the fineness of PPC is 300 square meter per kilogram, which is higher than OPC. We can clearly see that the fineness of PPC is more than OPC, hence we come to the next topic which is dependent on the fineness of cement, which is permeability. Permeability is the quality of any substance to measure how much liquid or water can pass through them due to the absence of pozzolanic material. Ordinary Portland cement is highly permeable to the water. On the other hand, pozzolana cement is less permeable and it is suitable for structure such as bridge piers or a foundation where the waterproofing structure is recommended. Cost The cost of OPC is slightly more as compared to PPC. This is due to the fact that the expensive clinkers in OPC is replaced by pozzolanic material in PPC such as fly ash. Hence, the price of PPC is slightly less than OPC. Uses OPC is the most commonly used cement in construction. OPC 53 grade is not recommended to be used for plastering work as it is known to develop shrinkage cracks due to heat of hydration. OPC is also not used in masonry as mortar strength in the initial period is not that critical. OPC can be used for structural members like slab, column, beams of commercial and industrial complexes, high-rise buildings, road, bridges, heavy defense structures, etc. Whereas PPC can be used in all type of construction like RCC work in residential, commercial and industrial building, marine work, mass concreting work like dam, huge foundations, roads, runway, bridges and flyovers, etc. Especially PPC is used in plastering, masonry, tiling and waterproofing work. As in this work, strength is not the major criteria. Conclusion Both OPC and PPC are commonly used cement in construction and both have their pros and cons. However, PPC is used as a substitute for ordinary Portland cement. Since PPC contains pozzolanic material, it helps to enhance the strength of concrete and also complete the green building criteria. As a result of this, nowadays most of the OPC manufacturers are shifting to PPC. I hope now you understood the difference between these two types of cements and can make a correct choice between OPC and PPC after watching this video. If you like the video, please like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Thank you for watching.